I wish it was everybody. <laughs> 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 but I think it's not going to be everybody. You know, I think, because I've, I've had people who've had like a pretty strong reaction against the film and I just realized at some point, um, which is okay, some people connect with the film very strongly and that's why I made this film because I wanted to explore that because I think some people have life, life paths where they explore things and, and they have a very open mind about um, nakedness and, and sexuality and, and life and that's, that's why I try to explore and other people have other paths and hey, other movies. Yeah, but uh, in, in a way, uh, I think that the, the film not only explores sexuality, but also loneliness, yes. parents, yeah. uh, isolation, that discovering is uh, yeah. power, discovering sex, discovering... You're right. I think I, what I meant is that some people get stuck on the first level, which is like the uh, obvious entry door to the film. But that is true, that in the end, you know, I... Uh, Something are extremely universal in terms of feeling alone in a big group. And um, you know. do you think there's a uh, do you think monogamy is the bridge to happiness? Ah, uh, a, a certain level. Oh, that's a long conversation. Uh, we only have six minutes. Here. I know. <laughs> I think the short answer is, I think you have to figure out things for yourself. And some people are more wired one way than another. And I think the most important thing is to understand what suits your needs and what is your own path. Yeah, I, I felt, uh, I, I thought it was great. Uh, one of the things I loved is that the adult world or the grown-ups, they're, they're only, you know, like props here and there. But all the story, in my opinion, all the story yeah. go through these younger people. Yes, well, the idea was that the adults are there when the kids realize they're around. That's when they show up. And uh, finding uh, the acting was great, very believable, and uh, the sexual scenes were awesome. So how did you accomplish all this visually, and where did you find all these kids? Um, well, that's a very long question as well. I mean, answer. Um, well, first of all, the kids. I started the casting process 18 months prior to the filming because I knew some roles might be harder to find than others. And the role for uh, the main girl, George, we found like only three months before the film, or four months. So, you know, it took us quite a while. I need kids who are very comfortable with their bodies. And I think it's just started there to have people who understood that the direction I was going for was not just um, nakedness geared towards sexuality, but beyond that, the, n the simplicity of bodies and, and nakedness, because you know, at the end of the day, we're all naked. We don't, we're not born with clothes on, and that's part of our daily lives. And it's not necessarily like all the time exciting or great. It's just there. So the kids need to be very comfortable with that. And and I try to put the the sex scenes at moments when it meant something for the characters and for their progression. So there's only sex when it means something for them emotionally. Uh, how much do you think the technology has changed the way we relate? I remember when I was one of those kids, we only had a phone and, you know. They were waiting forever. Wait, <laughs> not even call waiting and nobody <laughs> called me back. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the days. I lived the days as well. Um, you know, I think it's generation is given a set of cards. And, and this one is not easy, obviously, but... And I think what's rough for this specific generation is that they're at the, um, the crest of the wave, so they're learning everything at the same time. But they're gonna make mistakes, like we all do, like each generation does, and the ones coming after them are gonna be more savvy, I think, about technology. How do you feel about uh, releasing the film in this huge market in the US, which is uh, it's a different market to penetrate, especially for foreign language mm -hmm. films? because it's a self-centered country, in my opinion, but that's another discussion. Uh, I don't think it's your opinion. I think it's, <laughs> which is fine. It just so happens that way. Um, I think it's a niche thing uh, where the people who need to find a movie will find it because they're interested in that kind of films and they're, gonna, they're eager to see the, the, these kind of movies. Uh, so hopefully it will reach its audience. I just hope so. Do you think Gabriel and uh, George symbolizes uh, the future of love or happiness? 
That's why I was sense. asking you about monogamy, but I don't know. Oh, uh, well, but see, these are two different things because yeah. I think, I do think that you, life, you go through life growing up in reaction to other people entering your life that you're never alone, ever. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in individualism. I think it's a, it's a, it's a fantasy. Um, and I think, y you know, you go through life clicking with, with very few people and they make you be a better person. So it doesn't necessarily have to talk about monogamy in that sense. It's, it's more about big encounters. We all have that in our lives where, you know, we've met very specific people who made us uh, better persons and, and for me that's what Gabrielle is to George um, and it it's really beyond how however long they stay together and or if they you know stay together for life it, it's not about that it's about this specific moment in, in time connecting connection is very very important and uh, how much does your background in uh, AFI and uh, directing mm -hmm. a short movie that was very successful going to Toronto with the film has mm. uh, made you capable of selling the film in six minutes to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's say I'm not. Are you not a strategist <laughs> or just <laughs> passionate about your... <laughs> I, well, you know, it's, it's two things you learn as well. You learn during interviews what, what you actually, what the movie means for you. Because it's funny, you know, when you make the movie, you don't rationalize anything. You just go for it. And then after a while, you realize that you chose something over something else for very specific reasons and which is why I like interviews actually maybe that's why I'm passionate about them because it allows me to verbalize things and I like verbalizing. <laughs> it might be weird to verbalize something that you did it out of passion but you were not thinking okay someone is going to interview me six months or a year from uh -huh. now I know you have to see it from an observer's perspective, right? Like, I'm like the audience and you're the director explaining but you know, it's something like that? Or? It's, it's the same old thing. Um, sometimes your flaws are your qualities and will be too cerebral, as an ex-boyfriend would put it. <laughs> 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 so here you go. <laughs> <Okay>. Enjoy it. <laughs>